the demand for AR experiences has increased quite a lot over the past few years and is projected to increase even more over the coming years. This has led to many big companies enter into the AR space along with their softwares and frameworks. Two of these are Apple's ARKit and Google's AR Core. ARKit is used to create AR apps for iOS devices such as iPhones and iPads. AR Core is used to create AR apps for Android devices. There's a third framework, Vuforia, which is a cross-platform framework. That means you write the code once and you create the exact same AR app for both iOS and Android devices. There's also a cross-platform solution that combines ARKit and AR Core, known as AR Foundation. We'll talk about that later in the course. You might have seen these 3D face filters in Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram app. These AR experiences are not standalone apps, but they are simple AR experiences that are embedded inside the Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram apps. To create lenses or face filters for Snapchat app, we need to use Snapchat's Lens Studio. And for creating face filters for Facebook and Instagram app, we need to use Spark AR Studio. So these are some of the most popular softwares and frameworks that are used by the developers.